and lesson nine the last lesson is waqf so what is waqf the meaning of waqf is to stop or pause waqf is always made at the last letter of a word you cannot stop in the middle of a word to make waqf change the last letter into a second with some exceptions and stop your voice breath and have the intention of continuing after you stop so the general rule is change the last letter into a second what does that mean so there are four rules if the last letter of the word has any haraka other than fathatain standing fatha and the letters of mud then it will turn into a sakin when stopping on the word so there are seven in total so if there's a dhammatain if there's a kasratain if there's a standing kasra if there's a upside down dhamma if there's a fatha kasra or dhamma so one two three four five six seven if there are these seven then it will just be changed into a sakin so this example if i were to continue would be as this is a fatha and if i intend on stopping here then i would change this into a sakin as Dhammatain is one of the seven. Mubin instead of Mubinun, since I intend on intend on pausing here, I would say Mubin. And same thing here. Al Khabir. Second, so if the last letter of the word has Fathatain, then one of the Fathas will drop and become Alif Matha. So it will be stretched for one and a half seconds when stopping on it. So there's a Fathatain. You will notice that uh, the rule of if any if any time you see fatahatain there will usually be alif or a ya there will be a vowel after it so one of them will drop and you will stretch it because if you drop one of the fathas then there's only one fatah and if there is a fatah before an alif then it's alif madda so this will be pronounced instead of raghaban if you intend on stopping it will be raghaba abada huda Instead of hudan, it's huda. Now there are two types of ta in the Quran. There is the long ta, which is the normal ta you saw back in the letter, uh, the lesson of makhraj, and there is a round ta, this ta. If you stop on the long ta, it will remain a ta. But if you stop on a round ta, it will become a ha sakin. See the this ta will become a ha sakin. For example. If I did not intend of stopping, stopping it would sound like wa'iyatun, khawiyatun. But if I intend on stopping, it would become a ha with a sakin, so it will be pronounced wa'iyah, khawiyah, wa'iyah, khawiyah. And lastly, if you stop on a letter of mud, then it remains, and you stretch it normally how you would. So. There is a standing kasra here, so it's la yastahyi. There is a wow madda here, and if you intend on stopping, it will still sound like tushriku, tushriku. And lastly, the last note: if the last la, la, last letter of a word already has a sakin, then you don't have to do anything. This has a sakin already, so you just leave it. Alaykum, wala qad. And that is the end of the curriculum. So now we've covered the theory of the beginning, I guess, an intro to Tajweed. But I, uh, we strongly recommend that you practice. First, memorize all the rules and different letters that you have to know. For example, the letters of the throat, the letters of Ifa, Khunna, and so on. Memorize them. And then when you come to practice, then inshallah, you'll be able to recall all the rules and it will be much, much easier for you to put the theory into practice.